my little thick ass women with big booties. That's my thing. Uh, when I was young, I always said, my wife has to have a big ass booty. That, that's it, you know what I'm saying? But then as I got older, I said, no, nah, you know, I don't want my wife to have a, a too big ass, you know, because I'm not able to have a daughter with her. You know, I don't want my daughter running around here in Miami on Memorial Day weekend with no big ass booty. <laughs> Like her mama, I don't want that for my family. You know what I'm saying? And I thought a little bit hard on it too, you know? Shit, I don't want my daughter been born no big ass booty. And I damn sure don't want my motherfucking son <laughs> being born with no big ass booty. I don't want that for my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, my son can be no thug, nothing. Shit wouldn't sound right. People be running up like, hey man, you heard about uh, James? He killed seven people down on uh, Martin Luther King. People be like, J James, shit, this for about four people named James. Which James you talking about? He be like, man, sh big booty James, man. <laughs> Motherfucker sprayed everybody. All the mothers in the house make some noise. If you got kids, make some noise. Every day is Mother's Day, so I shout y'all out every time I'm on stage. Every day is Mother's Day. I like to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the house. And even the women that didn't clap, even if you ain't got no kids, but you got a Mother's Day stomach, still. <laughs> give it up for yourself. Because, <laughs> men, we know it's hard for women having babies. Don't we know it's hard? You know what I'm saying? I think every woman's wish would be that, the men, that men, we could be the ones that had a baby for the rest of this year. How many of y'all wish that on us if y'all could? That's why I said, I, I knew y'all were going to do that. I knew y'all were going to do that. And I said that to say, if the rules change, like, man, that should be fucked up on our end because the, the, the whole call scenario will change. Instead of us getting that, them getting that call, we get that call now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they pick it up. Hello, you be like, hey, can I speak to Tawana? Uh, yeah, this her. Who is this? Hey, hey, Tawana, um, this, this, this is James. Uh, okay, uh, James, and what's going on? I'm, nothing. I'm sitting down here on this parking lot at uh, Planned Parenthood, and um, the lady on the inside or whatever just let me know I'm, I'm pregnant. You, you said you pregnant. By, by who, James? <laughs> she, by, by you, Tawana. She, okay, but she hang the phone up right there because you know she got to get off the phone. She ain't ready for all that pressure, you know? And you know a homegirl in the room with a girl, who was that that just called her? Girl, that was James calling her and talking about I got in pregnant. James, you talking about Dusty James? <laughs> Girl, no. Which James? Bitch, big booty James. He's sitting up here, 